Greetings and welcome to another Lessons with Odin. On this episode, I will be showing you how to make this crescent chain. You might recognize this from this summer epic piece. I did it to finish off the end of the necklace because I wanted to implement more crescents. And I just kind of wanted to do something different. And yeah, so that's what I did with that. I turned it into a bracelet, so feel free to do that as well. I actually, this spike uh, bezel I have a tutorial for. I can leave a link to that if you are interested in doing the spike accent as well. But in this lesson, I'm just going to teach you how to do this little chain thingy. For this project, you will need some crescents. I am using these crescents. You will need three per segment. And I used for a seven and a half inch bracelet, probably about, I fudged it, so probably about 11. So 33 probably crescents is a good number. If you want more or less, it's just kind of guesstimation at the point. You will need size 15 seed beads, some Delica beads, three millimeter beads of your choice in any shape. True two millimeter beads, fire polished, or you can also use another color of Delica, but I have found that this has a little more dimension to it and it looks a little fancier, so I like to add the true two millimeters. Whatever finding you would like to use, I'm going to show you how to attach a clasp to the ends. And finally, your needle and thread. Let us get started. I'm going to start off my chain by adding on one Delica, one 3mm, and one Delica, and passing it down towards the bottom of my thread. I'm going to leave a reasonably sized tail because that's what I'm going to attach my clasp to, but you can do whatever you'd like depending on what your project is. So, I'm going to pass my needle back up through all four of these beads so that I form a loop. Like that, I'm going to tie an overhand knot with my working thread and my tail so that I cinch everything together and we form a nice little plus sign thing. Now I'm going to make sure my thread is coming out of a Delica bead, so I've passed through the Delica. I've added on four size 15s, three crescents, four size 15s, and I'm going to pay close attention to the orientation of my crescents as I'm threading them. We want them to eventually stick out to the side, where we have the empty hole facing outwards towards the direction of our chain, and the inner hole inwards. Once I've done that, I'm going to pass through the Delica bead, and that is what we end up with. We have the start of a wrap around the crescent, and we have the second holes facing in the opposite direction. Then I'm going to reinforce these beads all the way around. I'm going to end up so that so that my thread is coming out of one of the sides and the set of four seed beads. I'm going to then add one size 15, one 2 millimeter, one size 15. Then I'm going to pass through the top holes of all three of my crescent beads. I'm going to add another set, and then I'm going to pass down through the set of four seed beads and through the Delica to work my way around. Secure that in place. Then I'm going to move up through the 4, and then continue up by passing through the 15, the 2 millimeter, and the 15. In order to secure it in place, I'm going to go back down through the crescent beads, the second hole, down through the set of 1 size 15, 1 2 millimeter, 1 size 15, pass up through the crescent again, on the first hole this time, and finally back through this set of one seed bead, one two millimeter, and one seed bead. Now I've added four size 15 seed beads, one Delica, and four size 15 seed beads. And I'm going to pass down through this group once more. The 15, two millimeter, and 15. Like that. I'm going to pass through the crescent once more. Through the first hole through the 2 millimeter set again, and then we're going to continue on by reinforcing the round of the set we just added, the 4, 1, and 4. 
My thread is in between the set of four seed beads and the section with the two millimeter, so I'm going to then reinforce this once more by passing through the top hole of our crescent set. Then from here, I'm going to pass up to the Delica bead. From here, we're ready to make another set. This is one complete section, and we're ready to do more. So I'm going to add one 3mm, one Delica, one 3mm, then I'm going to pass back around through that Delica. So we form our next segment here. I'm going to reinforce that once more. Then from the top Delica, you're ready to add your crescent set again. To add another segment, you're going to start off by adding four size 15s, three crescents, four size 15s, and pass back through the original Delica, like that. Continue on just as before until you have the length of chain you want. Attaching a clasp to this chain is pretty easy as well. We're just going to start off from the top Delica bead of one of our three millimeter sections. Then I'm going to add on three seed beads in my clasp and three seed beads, pass through the Delica bead again. Now pay attention, just like with the crescents, on the orientation of your clasp to make sure that it falls in the right direction, so that it rests on your wrist or wherever, how you want. Then you reinforce this and end your threads. So then you should have a finished bracelet, hopefully. Once again, I have the tutorial for the spike bezel. I will leave a link somewhere, probably a card up here. Probably something like that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. And if you make anything using this pattern, be sure to share me pictures at the group on Facebook, Lessons with Odin. Come and join a bunch of other beaters who make stuff and show off your pictures. Yes, I will leave a link for that down below. And then there's also some Skillshare classes that I have been working on. If you would like to join me on Skillshare with some other jewelry creations, I will leave a link for that as well. So yes, if you cannot get enough beading classes, be sure to check that out. I think that'll do for now for this edition of Lessons with Odin. As always, let me know if there's any other tutorials that you would like me to create. And yes, I'm getting excited for Halloween. I don't know about you guys, but I have so many things planned for Halloween. Yes, Halloween's going to be fun. But anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me. And of course, if there's anything I need to be trying out right now, feel free to leave me a comment down below. I will see you next time. I have a canker thor on my tongue, and I'm very self-conscious of it. <laughs>